It was frigid last night. It's Friday, February 8th. Sometimes Gremlin acts like a rabbit. What are you doing? Come on. So we're gonna get an official temperature check. Because of the cold, you can walk on top of the pack now. Okay. Official temperature inside the greenhouse 91. The low last night was 32 in the greenhouse. In outdoor, it was minus 7. High of 47 yesterday. Currently 46 outside. Minus seven versus 32. That's a, that's a good number. Good number. So I did a lot of planting in here and some watering. Um, I just fed half of a flat of fodder. Uh, the gopher seems to be gone. No success trapping. I've smoothed everything out and there's no more activity. So someone just sent me a sonic gopher spike, which I'm going to install, but you can see some of the lettuces coming up here. Some mache. That's a corn salad. Some Asian kales. And now the uh, garlics are starting to pop with this extra light. This is uh, all planted with spinach. I planted some spinach and garlic and other things in here, which should be popping up any day now. And we've got the fodder going. And no gopher activity. Collard trees made it through the winter, as did the parsleys. And we still have a snapdragon alive. Pretty amazing. Here's the uh, upper Dutch corn. Had a little bit of frost damage. I, I don't know how. It's not below freezing in here. Mm, it just might be. Mm, that's real. Real nice. So for those that don't know how this operates, there is a four foot deep uh, perimeter wall made of cement. Right there. Hundreds of feet of tubing under here. Um, the air drops down these tubes and heats the underground. And then it gets vented into the greenhouse for air conditioning purposes. Both fans are currently off for maintenance. And we're still not below freezing because the key is the thermal mass in the rear. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 plus. 600 plus gallons. And the temperature remains constant. That's for this size greenhouse, which has got very little volume because of the way I designed it. Be safe.